Well, good morning, folks. We're back on site here at Tia Maria. We had our trip down to Columba uh, a little while back. Sorry about the video, or I should say the audio on that. Um, the editor, my wife, <laughs> he needs to work on her skills a little bit. So, well, hopefully we'll get that uh, get that iron now going forward. It's been a while. It's been oh five or six days since we uh, we put a video, almost a week out since we put anything on the house or my house or the neighbors. Uh, We've had some uh, rainy weather and some other things that are going on here at the at the build here. So it uh, looks like our our construction's uh, come to a little bit of a standstill right now. But we're going to see what progress uh, they've got going on. But first, uh, it's uh, early in the morning out here. It's about 6:30 out at Tia Maria, and I thought I'd share share the, uh, the weather with you and some of the scenery. You can see that the uh, that the crew's not here yet, or, or some of them are actually working as uh, security folks here that uh, have been staying overnight at uh, not at my house, but at my neighbors. So uh, keep an eye on this stuff because of the the break-ins they had. They haven't had any uh, knock on wood here. They haven't had any in a while, so uh, I think they caught the guys um, that were doing that. They're the small crew that was involved in that, but uh, didn't get any details. Nothing was published. The uh, local brown guy doesn't doesn't tell you not much. You don't get anything from the HOA. You know, only thing you get it is from the on-site folks here. Uh, at Tia Maria that uh, that actually live here and, and, and tell you what's going on. So let's head on over the build and see what's going on, okay? Well, the first thing that I do notice is they finally finished the, the, <laughs> that tree. They had a huge tree that they had to cut up here at uh, over at Angie's site and you can see what's left of it. it there's nothing they were working on I was here yesterday I actually wanted to do a little filming but I couldn't because the chainsaw was, was so loud it was an old school chainsaw um, that you know chainsaws aren't quiet as it is anyway but this thing was huge they took this down um, this whole area in here with the uh, with all the wood that's uh, that you see uh, cut up land around that the guys will partition out and sell. I'm sure they will because uh, not sure what the tree was on it, but uh, these guys are really thrifty here. Everything that they can do, um, they take advantage of. They cut the tree, they'll sell the wood. Uh, they got the fee for the tree removal, which they worked hard on all day yesterday. And as we go, as we go down here, you can also see Ainsley's wall. My neighbor across the street how far along they are on it and with the tree gone now they'll be able to continue forward um, with all the all the uh, roots that were in the ground there and if you walk onto this side over here you can see they've got they got this wall done as well on this side well now it's almost completed you have a certain height and I have to look it up on the on the deeds and restriction, but uh, out here to Tia Maria, you can only go a certain height with the solid portion of the wall, and after that, you have to have to use some type of uh, decorative design in order to get your security. Um, but you can't have that that solid, uh, what I call a prison look to it, um, and the front too. So let's cruise on over to my belt, see what's going on. Thankfully, all the the last uh, tie beams have been been formed and poured. It took them forever to get that done um, because they did it in sections. It wasn't the length of time it took; it was just the sections that they had um, going on. And like I said before, we had quite a bit of rain, so it was tough putting the rains. In the it was tough working with the with the rains. You can't when when you're trying to do your plastering, and you can see. Uh, the entryway here, what what it's going to be, is starting to form up now. They've got the uh, the columns uh, in in place right now, not completely poured, but they've got um, them started anyway. And you can see the entryway 
to the house right here where it's going to be going to have to start hitting uh hitting google and youtube there and start looking at different uh entryway setups we're going to have our our door here and then i got to find out we've got most of the tile purchased on our trip to uh colombo but i'm sure, not sure what we're going to do with the entryway here uh, it's a little different setup than i'm used to so uh i'll rely on my builder and uh uh, my wife and any suggestions would be awesome too as you can see the uh, the finish right here on this wall which is completed and I've got a lot of plastering done which is good I just hope they they all have uh, I don't see the markings from my electrical outlets I have to get with a uh, Nelson the electrician and see what's going on there. Plastering here in the CR yet. I've got the the divider wall up here now. And as you walk into uh, the office area here, no plastering here as well. But again, I'm just super happy they've got all the all the beams the horizontal beams tied because the next big focus is uh, is the actual roof structure itself and that's been a problem because uh, we we're having a problem finding we find the roof uh, quality of roof that we want but they don't have the the color that you want and then you find a place that's got the colors I mean if you've got an unlimited budget it's not a problem at all I mean, you can just say, hey, I want this uh, custom tile done. And they'll, you know, you got the money, they'll do anything. But to balance that, that uh, difference between the budget and quality that you want, that's tough. At least it is out here now. And they have a different approach. They have a different approach out here in, in the Philippines. And the customer service, and I, and I talk about it a lot. And I'm just surprised. Uh, again, let me relate a story that, was, uh, that my neighbor told me. And it really made sense. There, he was he was actually talking to a, an expat friend of his, and who was married to a Filipina. And the guy was an Australian gentleman. And he said, for the first two or three years that he came out here, um, he was going crazy, um, as far as you know the traffic and the, the the different the mindset of the folks and stuff. And he was uh, constantly screaming, yelling, complaining about this and and just overall you know not happy with life and uh, and then he sat down um, and looked at himself and he was the only one screaming and yelling everybody else was fine and uh, that that really dawned on me because sometimes I'll be sitting in traffic my biggest complaint here in, in, in Lipa City is the traffic is absolutely horrible I mean it is bumper to bumper I mean from where I'm renting out to here is less than five miles it takes me an hour. I mean, I feel like I'm in uh, Los Angeles traffic, and I, hell, I, I actually get better results in, in L.A. with the traffic than I do here, and it's just because the infrastructure is not in place. But the point I'm trying to make is, um, is, is that you just have to adapt here. I mean, everybody keeps telling me, oh, it's just a, it's just a Filipino way, and I said, well, the heck with that. You know, I'm, you know, I've, I've got my mindset. I'm not going to compromise, and and you learn that you don't have to compromise. You just have to calm down, and things just don't move at the pace they do in the United States. And I can't speak for the for the European countries because I don't have any experience to rely on there. But I mean, the customer service in the States is fantastic. I mean, I miss Amazon so much because the the quality of of the stuff that you would get and the speed. And if you weren't happy with it, you just call them up. You know. And, and or you just went online and clicked the button return and boom dropped it off no charge shipping you can have it expedited the next day if you if you've got a, a big issue the uh, folks will take care of it for you it's awesome but like I said the whole point I'm trying to make here again is is you just gotta you gotta realize the Philippines are 20 probably about I'd say a good 10 to 20 years behind us as far as their technology in online and customer service and I expect that that will change in time it have to because people are always trying to get the best value for their dollar I don't care where you live at so I think you're gonna see a change in me as far as uh, 
as far as the way things are going right now because we're having a lot of uh, out here at, uh, at Tia Maria we're, we're there's a big issue going on right now with the homeowners association because they want to have a zoom meeting and and the, and the folks myself included don't agree with it um, um, because we want to actually have a face-to-face -face with the um, HOA board and then they're citing uh, pandemic well we can have it outside I mean there's plenty of space and there's not there's there's plenty of areas out here uh, to, to seat the folks take care of what's going on and uh, I'm not going to get into the particular issues that we have with the developer and the integration of uh, their finances and all that stuff it's, it's, it's a blog for another time but uh, that's coming up soon so I'll probably guys keep you guys updated on that if uh, we don't see a change but you can see right here that we're in the uh, actual kitchen itself and they've got the plastering done here this window uh, again you guys probably heard me if you followed my blogs they're gonna knock this window out. I don't know why that uh, and they'd missed it the, Dave the builder was telling me that that they just uh, they were supposed to knock more of this window out before they plastered it but they had a crew in here before they had uh, literally like 10 guys in here doing the plastering would have been done but they had a discrepancy on on the pay and it, it always seems to start when you start out here in the Philippines I mean not always but a lot of the times what you what you initially start with and what you initially end with um, is a different story so right now we've got a smaller crew doing the plastering that's why you're not seeing things as far as the plastering end of it go as fast they still got to score the uh, score the, these columns you can you can see that some of the columns are already scored with the plaster and uh, and some are not and you can see where it actually goes up to the top of those to the top of the um, the horizontal beams that are there as you can see that the kitchen the living room seems to be all majority of it seems to have the first rough coat put on and they're working on the garage right now they were doing that yesterday when I was here but like I said with that chainsaw going I mean that thing was loud so it was almost reminded me of the, of the scooters here because one thing they do here a lot is they modify the exhaust of the motorcycles or little scooters I mean suckers might only be a 125 or 75 cc bike but they you think that that thing makes a noise of a, a full-blown dragster going down the freaking road because of all the little exhausts that are modified and let's see what's uh, what's going on I expect to see a lot of rain a lot of rainwater I should say because it had been raining hard with the exception of yesterday and as we you can see here what a crummy job this first coat was done I think the guys were pissed that they were let go and they just slapped this stuff on here and now the, the secondary crew is gonna have to fix that you can still see some of the standing water here in the master bedroom plastering is done on looks like the whole master bedroom with I should say the first the first coat anyway the rough coat that goes in that they use and for me I cannot wait till they get that structure on that roof because once they get the structure it won't make a difference whether it rains here or not and then you got a our closet area that we're in now is is completely plastered it reminds me that I got a shop for more fans now the the back CR does not have plastering on all the walls and you can see it here as I spin the camera around you can see the uh, looks like they've cleared the lots next to mine on both sides so that tells me that they might be putting these things they only tend to clear them you walk over here they tend to clear them when they're trying to sell them because that's one of the biggest expenses out here is the homeowner whoever owns these lots are responsible for maintaining the uh, uh, as it should maintaining the the growth on them um, the developer it takes care of his portion um, before they're sold 
but then I, I don't see it spaced out as evenly as I as I think it should because the uh, I don't know I, I, it's kind of hard to put it into words but I think that they they pick and choose the lots instead of they could do a, a heck of a lot better job on the marketing if they wanted to sell lots here and I don't know why they don't invest in it because there's a lot of people looking for for property out here and you can see in the last bedroom here that uh, the rough coat of plastering is done here on the second floor and they had, like I said except for this area here this uh, Kind of a st in that corner is going to be a storage area and hallway, but they're going to have to do a lot of a lot of finish work up on that to get this thing smoothed out. Like I said, I think the guys were pissed off and and just slapped this stuff up here because they were being let go. It wasn't that it wasn't the individual workers' fault? They were doing a good job. It's just that they had uh, they have basically temp agencies that that will hire these crews out, and our builder is trying to trying to get a core of guys. For his build, he's he's about halfway through the process of getting, you know, your electricians and your carpenters and your plasters. Even though he's got a lot of builds going on, but he's got he's gotten a lot of work lately. So, and the work's being shuffled back and forth to maintain to keep the to keep the crew busy. See, it's not easy to keep a construction crew busy. Let's go downstairs to keep them busy year round. It's something that's you have to have a lot of work to do so there's a lot of shuffling back and forth depends on when what time of the year you actually start your build best time of the year to start I think after going through my experience would have been February um, but if I would have waited until February I wouldn't be anywhere near the level that I'm at now so that's a good thing and you can see Ainsley's house across. They've got all the windows that are that are in now. The glass and stuff that's in place. I'd go over there, but the the, the crew over there is uh, that's, that's staying over is waking up, and I don't want to. It's early in the morning, and I don't want to bother them. I don't normally get a chance to get out here, but I uh, snuck out on a wife this morning to get stuff taken care of and to show to be able to get my video in here to show the progress of what's going on and that's uh that's something i like to do every now and then because it's a lot easier the crew will be arriving i can already hear them starting to come in and the plastering will continue but the biggest thing that they're focused on right now is uh Dave's been working on getting the uh, the roof. He's got a build at Summit Point that's going on now. That uh, they're actually uh, ordered that roof, and they're I'm hoping to find out that that they're actually on site um, putting it in place. I might even take a cruise down there and find out. Morning, morning, guys. Some of the crew arriving now, so it gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on with uh, with our build right now and like I said we're we're looking at this time of now where I've got to start really shopping hard for our appliances and stuff and uh, and most of the stuff I'm gonna have to order online because simple ovens and stuff that I want um, that are equivalent to what we have back in the States they don't have uh, unless you get into the bigger cities they actually don't have those uh, those in stock it's uh, surprised me. I mean, they have a couple uh, units that you'll see, but if you're looking for an 80 or 90 size um, for your oven, with it, with, with, with what I'm looking for is a gas burner on top, five five burners, and then just a standard oven down at the bottom. The, you have to order all that stuff. So that's uh, that's just one of the appliances, and, uh, and dryers here virtually don't exist. So it looks like we're still going to be hanging our clothes out uh, on the back and and I, hopefully I'm wrong on that I have to do some more research because uh, my, my shirts and clothes get all jacked up because they get all stretched out from because um, it's not all sunny out here all the time it's always wet and the humidity comes in play especially the rainy during the rainy season and your 
your laundry, like your collars get all stretched out on your shirts and, and it's just amazing that the beating that your clothes take out here. Um, and you're changing, the, I change a couple times a day, like if I go out in the morning or I'm doing something and I get all sweaty and, and the clothes get all all moisture ridden or I get rained on, then I'll do a quick change. And and uh, same thing showering, sometimes you're showering two, three times a day out here. Um, you got the job sites dirty, you know, there's a lot of dust out here. Um, and you can feel that on you so you want to get that grime off you and you take a quick shower and you, especially if you're hot it's nice to get that get cooled off and you can see that the you can see the crew coming in now everybody's rolling in for their start so we're gonna you can see the folks well folks uh i hope that uh gave you a quick view of our progress and i'll try to keep you guys updated and uh I get more of those uh, those videos out, um, and I do that uh, just to try to keep folks uh, up to date on what's going on with the build and uh, to see what's happening. Got one of the local walkers here, neighbors coming by. Morning, morning, sir. How you doing? Fine. So, anyway, folks, we'll catch you next time. You take care now.